Hey everybody, good morning. This is Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quotes for You. Maxwell and I just got got back from doing some chores. Um, we I explained to you we went over to our old house um, because it's the beginning of um, the actual lifting of our home. If you're new here, we lost our home in a tornado last year and um, flooding. And the house has been vacant ever since and um, not abandoned, but the process of lifting it and raising it in the air has been a huge, huge thing for our son who actually owns the home. Um, so Maxwell and I went over there. Um, I'm, I'm re repeating myself, um, but I just wanted to say hello to you. I'm still um, recovering from, actually I'm recovering from our weekend. We had a family photo, a family day, family photo taken. Um, I'm just going to put a few pictures up, but I have a whole bunch of pictures that I'm going to put up from, from the, um, the, the weekend. It was just so lovely, but I'll just give you a little sneak preview of our family photo. I wasn't very well. As you know, I've been recovering from COVID and from a, a bout of diverticulitis that ended me up in the hospital. Um, and it's been, t it's taking me a long time. I'm have long COVID, um, the exhaustion, and um, I'm waking up sometimes with a sore throat, eh, whatever, just a bit of a mess. Um, so I'm not doing anything, as you know. I wonder if I ever will be getting back to, to my sewing. I'm sure I will. I have a project, my panels, uh, my one block wonder quilt, which I really want to do. Um, but that will come, that will come. And my friend Jen came, as you know, we had a tea party. And um, she's waiting patiently, as you are. Thank you so very much for understanding. I'm not 100%. Um, but I'm enjoying doing what I'm doing. We had a lovely time with the family. Um, it was a lot, um, but they, all of the kids stepped up to the plate and um, they did they did the food and everything. I made potato salad, <laughs> and, uh, but it was lovely. I will be put, putting more pictures up of that because I'm sure you, you know the kids now and you would, you know, the, the children. We have 10 children. Um, there are nine spouses and our grandchildren, 19 grandchildren. However, um, our daughter-in-law, Caitlin, and uh, her, their, their daughter, Arabella, who has RSV, she was not very well, she's uh, six months old, wasn't very well at all, has a respiratory, was on a um, nebulizer and everything, she, they couldn't come, um, her, Arabella and Caitlin, and then Tristan, our son Justin's little boy, he wasn't very well, and then our oldest son Zach, he couldn't come because um, of illnesses, so um, we are missing a couple people in the family photo, but I'll just quickly put that up, I will be doing another video with all of the pictures, which I'm sure you'll want to see. Um, so for now, that's what I'm doing. We went over. Maxwell had the camera in the car. It's just a little bit of a mothering autism, a little bit all over the place. I wasn't feeling very well. I'm trying to get better. Thank you so very much for everything, um, for all your best wishes. I'm trying, trying to get better. Family pictures. I, I had put makeup on and it sort of all fell off. I looked a bit of a mess. <laughs> Family pictures, right? But um, it, they turned out well. So yeah, again, Thank you for your patience. Really appreciate it. All right, folks. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Good boy. Take it out the trash. <laughs> good boy. Bye, mother. Good boy. So much trash we generated over the weekend. Wow. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Uh, we are going. Um, on a bit of an adventure today, Maxwell and I, um, we have had a busy weekend. We had our family photograph taken, but I will be sharing them with you. Um, I wasn't feeling all that well <laughs> when we had 50 people over the weekend, um, but the pictures turned out lovely, the ones that I did see, and I will be sharing them. Um, right now, we had just gotten, uh, our son had just told us, we had gotten informed that the home we used to live in that had the um, tornado and the hurricane and the flooding that rendered us homeless is, is being raised um, or it's being prepared to being raised today. So I have no idea um, what we are going to find when we go over there. Um, the engineers and the moving company are there preparing the property. We had to um, go and uh, tidy up all around the home. It's a major huge thing. So you're coming with us, Maxwell and I. Here's Maxwell. Oops, sorry, darling. I'm just filming, telling them how we're gonna go over and see what's going on with the house. So, good morning, Maxwell. And with a leather jacket or with sweatpants, how are you doing? Good. 
That's Daddy's leather jacket. I told you to get your, your green jacket. That is a work jacket. Well, what are we doing? Not working. Well, we're gonna go. We're gonna go over to the to the house. It might be muddy and all. Put the hood down. You look like a you look like a thug. I'm cold. Oh, you are not. You are gonna come out with no jacket on. Don't tell me that. Anyway, folks. So, <laughs> my, my 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 head gets cold. Oh, okay. You should be wearing. Well, you should be wearing a hat, like Daddy. I I don't want to wear flat cap. <laughs> Daddy wears his flat cap. He looks so English. Oh, he is English. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What do you expect? Um, okay, so folks, we are going on an adventure. We're going to go see what's going on with our old house that we used to live in. You might, you might remember me walking down this road, or up the road, the bridge that was rebuilt is behind us. And I'm coming into our property. They're not here. The, the um, raising company is not here right now. I should say the lifting company is not here right now. But this, this was our lovely property. <sighs> this was our lovely little home that we lived in for 18 months, which belongs to our son. He's now getting the ball rolling. And this was where our cars were. I'm going to turn this around and show you the devastation of it being empty for a year. This is our little house on the prairie here. <laughs> There's my car. Maxwell's in the car. He doesn't want to get out which is understandable because this mess, this was our little parking area and that got blown off. Our little um, uh, gazebo thing got blown off in the hurricane. And again, this property has been left because it was um, rendered uninhabitable, obviously. Um, this was all lovely landscaped and uh, boy, how fast the house deteriorates. That was, um, they had to take the brick off and expose this siding because what's, what they're going to be doing is uh, they're getting ready right here. They're going to be digging in under the foundations here um, and putting huge, great big steel beams and lifting the entire home, which is a 2,400 square foot rancher uh, what we would call bungalow this had all beautiful landscaping around it lovely trees but they the company requires it to have nothing around the home so all of the landscaping and all of the um the deck out back <coughs> we had a lovely deck <laughs> the deck is no longer this was our lovely deck <laughs> that was into my sewing room there this tree is going to have to be cut down Oh my goodness, this was the debris that was left, uh, all of the flooring that was left and you've seen this before, this was the old um, wood pile, let me see if I can, if you can see those, I don't know if I can move this these trees that were snapped off in the tornado. That was where our son used to ride his quad around. And um, this is um, all of the debris. This was one of the trees here that was uh, knocked over. This was about an 80 foot high tree. This was all beautifully landscaped. Uh, oh well. It was a big, huge, massive tree. And this was a lovely, lovely fire pit area here. <laughs> oh my word, what a mess. That was, the, that was what was remaining of our deck. Oh boy. So yeah. So we have happy memories and we have sad memories of this home because it was when it was when the pandemic hit about three, four weeks after we moved here after a difficult move. But we because we're optimists, we made the best of it. And um, 
yeah so the pandemic hit and then we went from having this large family home with everybody but everybody to to nothing to no people it was just dreadful dreadful and this right here i just want to show you this was our door we had a lovely little lovely little um area here if you remember maxwell sitting there it was really pretty landscaping and everything this came into our little kitchen area i've just come in and they have oh they have taken the floor down and have started to um expose all of the uh insulation here because they're going to be driving the the uh, beams, the steel, through the So yeah, this was, this was all lovely hardwood floor. That was what was my sewing room. <laughs> They've put up all the, taken up all the flooring. The rest of the place sort of looks the same. I had a, I had a, remember when Ma, when Maxwell and Ian put up the, um, the uh, cooker fan, <laughs> the extracting hood, yeah. <laughs> so this is sort of the same, but they have actually started here in the little breakfast area. So they're going to be doing, they're going to be ripping out the entire area here. Well, it's just a crummy building site <laughs> which was my lovely sewing room yeah and if you remember this was this was where i had my fabric it's all moldy now all the shelves I've taken down quite a lot my ladder and we're going to be taking down the ladder and the rail very quickly and if you remember my mural we are going to be taking that down. We got the we got the turtles and the houses down. I have a video about that, my little hand painted mural. We're going to be taking that down very soon, bringing it to our house. But yeah, this um this was where my little desk was. It's a mess. But hopefully, when um the company comes again, it's a very long ordeal. We've got to be careful here. Um, the house will be raised and around the whole property our son is going to be building a deck because it will be raised it will be lifted 11 foot in the air so this entire area here will have they they will become sliding doors out to a deck completely wrapping around the the property and there's going to be a um in what was maxwell's little office that's going to be a door the front door is going to be there that door is going to be closed and there's going to be three car three car <laughs> maxwell there's going to be a three car garage underneath coming in yes, as you weird, <laughs> you are weird um as you can see this driveway is a it, it goes a u-shaped driveway and that was our little bridge there for you remember you've seen this dozens of times and when the we um flood came over the bridge is way over there the little creek is there the the flood came up here this was in completely completely covered with water well further than the car was uh so the the hurricane the tornado took down quite a few trees here in the woods here as you can see the tornado took the trees down the winds um, picked up so much debris and then the flood water and um it's sort of a non-new looking house but it's nice it has four four nice sized bedrooms two and a half baths and it had a full basement which again as you know <laughs> most of our things were in the basement from our move and that got filled up and then it came into the home um so this was a complete I'd, I'd be in a lake right now so our son is going to be siding it in a really pretty siding um and again the decking all around it and um the the um 
the porches and everything. It's going to look really nice. This is a, believe it or not, this is a very desirable area, even though it looks like a bomb hit it, <laughs> which it did. This is a very desirable area. He has almost six acres of property here. Um, and uh, it's a nice, it's a nice, fairly expensive area. So it makes sense for him to uh, put the money in to actually lift the home, even though that's an expensive proposition. Insurance is helping a bit, as you know. This has been over, well, September 1st, 2021, when that the disaster happened, and now it's the end, middle of November. So it's been a huge, long process for our son. We've moved on, it's okay. As I said, Maxwell is in the car, though. Um, he does, I, we still, we were, we were getting mail here. I mean, we, I had had the mail forwarded, but I'm like, what in the world? So, um, yeah, we, we, uh, been here, done that. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys. I'm feeling better, um, after my illnesses and everything. Not a hundred percent at all. And as you can see, it is cold out. The, the weather has turned really, really cold. And as I said in the beginning, over the weekend, we had, um, our family photos taken. Um, 40 of us family members. Um, <clears throat> that was really, it was really fun. But um, yeah, Dominic had called and said, oh, they're starting. So his men have started to come, clearing the, clearing the site before the house lifters come. But I hopefully will take you on that little journey because I think it's interesting. Fantastic. My goodness. What, what was our lovely little home? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. As I say, we've moved on. We're very happy. Max was happy in our lovely home now that we have. We've been so blessed. So I hope you guys are feeling okay. I know a lot of you are, have been suffering from the COVID um, and you know, other things, the flu and other problems and our hearts go out to you. Please stay safe. All right, everybody, take care. Love from the true loves. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are at Audi's. <clears throat> We're just going to go in and get a few bits. Uh, yeah, um, what, what, what stories were we talking about earlier? The Honda? Oh, my, what's that smell? <laughs> Let me have the camera. What? Let me have the camera. You tell that, here. Let uh, me have the camera. Why do I, I have to tell it? You tell the story. Uh, you tell the story. It's funny. They want to hear the story. <laughs> do, do you not want to be seen? No, I want to be seen. I'll be seen. But look, I want to... <laughs> we have a very funny story. <clears throat> do we want to tell it this time? Or should we save it? I don't, I don't mind. Okay, go on then. So... I, it was a, so dad uh, has a really good reputation with, have you ever heard of a torch? One of those get propane or gas fired torches, what they use in plumbing, right? Uh, dad ha it happened to be on, just casually going into the, the Honda's back seat. <laughs> and, so like, oh, like, something's burning. Maybe I should pull over. <laughs> like, all English. And then it goes in the back. And it's like, oh, no, the torch is on. It turns it off. The car seat was on fire. Yes, and no, no <laughs> and, wonder the seat was warm. And Daddy said, oh, I was wondering why the seat was so warm. Here, the torch, the settling torch was, like, burning a hole in the seat. <sighs> And Daddy was very calm and very, very English uh, and stoic and uh, said, yep. oh my word, I had to pull over. And the seat was on fire. That was in our Honda. 
with all the tools in the back, and then we had a lovely van. What happened to it's bur bur burn a hole in the same exact place the exact as the Honda? <laughs> He's driving my lovely big travel van. Real nice van. I get in and there's a whole, the seat was all burned and charred. I said, what in the world? Oh, oh dear. The torch, the torch burned the seat again. <laughs> I said, why do you catch these? Why do you keep these torches in the back of the car? Uh, and that was the day I said to dad, you are retired from carrying a torch in your vehicle. He's never carried a torch again. But he was very calm about it. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, like how he is calm when he's driving. Go, oh. go, go. Oh, Dad, as my husband Ian is getting a little bit older, he uh, has like a bit of road rage and he's a bit grumpy. And how's his road rage? The most nicest way possible. Oh, please. Go, go, please. Go, go, go pull into the intersection. <laughs> oh, why aren't you. Go on to the yellow line of I can't pass you. Move over. Move over, please. Please, move, could you move, move over? over. Uh, uh, He's so polite. Uh, yes, and w w one time, um, we, oh we, 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 we had a trailer on, right? Yeah. He went over the curb just to make it around for the trailer. We don't want to get out of the car. It's too cold. We're going to get out of the car now. Huh, nope. Nope, it is cold. It's cold now. Can, can we just go home? No, I have to get milk. We have to get milk and bread. Uh, yeah, no. Yes. And can we address my attire? Oh, can we address your attire? You look... Like a hillbilly. You do look like a hillbilly. You have on maroon pants, jogging pants. You have on a gray sweatshirt. You have on dad's leather jacket. Uh, I have... Why did you grab dad's well, leather jacket? I didn't want to wear the work jacket. You didn't want to wear the work jacket, homeless. that's right. We, we were homeless, now we have a home. No, we were houseless. Oh, why are you hiding your face in the camera? I know, we were houseless, we weren't homeless. We were houseless, we didn't have a house. But we had a home. No, same thing applies, homeless. Oh, it yes, sounds, no. depends on how you say it. Exactly, and you're right, Maxwell. Like, we, we, we weren't living in our car, were we? No, we weren't, we were blessed. We've been blessed so much. Yes, anyway, folks, we gotta go. Anyway, okay, we gotta go, folks. I don't, don't want to get out. It's cold. I know, Maxwell. It's uh, uh, oh, that car is very interesting. It looks like it has like buck teeth. Oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like like bu 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 uh. Maxwell, spit. Heard the take, take a take a deep breath before you talk.